This ship is called the Allure, and I will show you how this ruthless mega ship conquered the seas, becoming one of the riskiest projects known to any billionaire in existence. However, you probably know nothing about how ships work, but I promise you, the willpower your mind will gain from me will change how you write your story. This is how this ruthless mega ship conquered the seas. The allure of the seas is proudly owned by the Royal Caribbean International, the most respected ship brand in the entire world. The allure is classified as a monohull ship. Mono is a Greek root word meaning one, single, or alone, and hull referring to the main body of a vessel, including the sides, the deck, the bottom, rigging, engines, and other fittings. When you and your best friend integrate both terms into one, you will realize that the Allure contains only one hull entirely made of steel by resilient, driven, skill-working welders of our time. When the board of directors from the Royal Caribbean International gathered in one room, they were stunned at the catastrophic cost of all imperative resources needed for the alert to be built from scratch. They spent approximately $1.5 billion, 88 times worth more than the Titanic when adjusting for inflation today. Many scratched their heads and drowned in confusion. Why was the construction of the alert so expensive? Was it worth the money? Would people like you be able to afford spending vacation at the Allure with their family? Just when they overthought the entire process of that project, the board of directors at the Royal Caribbean International gladly approved the construction of the Allure, effective immediately. The biggest mistake you could ever make is forgetting how long the allure was built and the drama that unfolded. In addition to this masterpiece, the keel of the allure was laid at the XTX Europe Turkey shipyard on 2nd December 2008. The laying of a mega ship's keel is symbolic as a call for the construction of the other immediately from the Royal Caribbean. The keel of a ship is a blade sticking down into the water from a sailboat's bottom. The keel of the other is responsible for preventing a vessel from being blown by the wind sideways and stabilizes the boat upwards. To see allures an enormous ship, the keel also supports its weight as it caresses through the sea. Still don't get the picture? I got you. A keel in real life is more like a pair of Nike Air Force Ones Michael Jordan wore in every NBA match he played in his prime. Every time he dunked, those Nike pairs gave him balance and the confidence to outperform his opponents. Which reminds me of the documentary about how Nike became the John Wick of shoe branding that I posted on my channel, which you must watch with your best friend after this documentary. Furthermore, XCX Europe and XCX Finland OY, responsible for designing and building mega ships, assembled an elite team of architects, naval engineers, welders, metal extractors, and shipwrights to execute the biggest project in naval history. They were classified in my eyes as the Avengers of the Sea. When they first encountered this construction, doubt crippled into their souls, and most believed that this project was indeed a tall order. What many had forgotten was the immense pressure inflicted upon the Avengers of the Sea during the construction of this intense mega project. As my viewer, you might believe the opposite, that there was nothing for them to feel concerned about. They had it all figured out. They were trained to succeed as an elite task force in these projects. After all, this is just a ship, right? At least, the 
that is the reality of what outsiders who think lowly of you want you to believe. Have you not forgotten the day you lost someone special to you? Did it not feel like the entire world was crumbling before you? You felt powerless. No one was there to support you at the darkest moment of your life. Simply nobody cared. That feeling was exactly what the Avengers of the Sea felt during the construction of the Allure. The Avengers of the Sea believed that their livelihoods and lives were at risk if they not met the deadline for the completion of the Allure. Mega ship construction is considered an unsafe working environment for locals. If this project was the deal breaker for their families, their girlfriends, their wives, their children, and their grandchildren, what they also remembered that the allure could have been the last time the Avengers of the Sea saw each other. Now mind you, the overall length of the allure is approximately three. 160 meters, which is longer than 74 Lamborghini Aventador doors lined up from your left to your right. Overall, the length between perpendiculars or the LBP of the ship is the horizontal distance measured between perpendiculars at the forwardmost and at the most points on the waterline corresponding to the deepest operating draft. The LPP of the Allure stands at approximately 330 meters. Draft is the distance between the ship's keel and the waterline of the vessel. Knowledge of the ship's draft is necessary for two major reasons. Firstly, it gives us an idea on which area of the sea the ship can safely navigate and which area she cannot due to unsafe depths. Also, the calculation of cargo and displacement is done based on the ship's draft. There are basically six visible draft marks located at the bow, center and stern on both port and starboard side of the vessel. Draft readings are taken from these six marks. The reading is taken from the point where the waterline and draft mark coincide. As we dig deeper into this complex architecture, the drought, which is the vertical distance from the bottom of the keel to the waterline, stands at approximately 9.3 meters. The overall point of the alert is approximately 72 meters above sea level. The average height of about 17 stories of your local apartment from the ground. Just as your parent's car is powered by an engine, so as this beautiful ship is kept intact by sophisticated components of its machinery. The Allure of the Sea has six main diesel engines, three big 16 cylinders and three 12 cylinder engines. They produce 97 megawatts and uh, equals to 135,000 horsepower. Uh, with that power plant, we are running the whole ship, including uh, propulsion and hotel load. The Allure contains eight maneuvering thrusters. These are transversal propulsion devices integrated into the stern of the Allure to manipulate her movement sideways even in the most restricted areas. The Titanic could learn a thing or two about that. Four of those thrusters are electric power units and the remaining four are tunnels. Adding on, the Allure possesses seven auxiliary boilers essential in producing steam for heating of residual fuel, liquid cargo, water for crew and passengers, this is followed by three propulsion pods located below the stern that combine the propulsive function to steer the ship in a slowing motion of the propeller. Here you can see uh, the main switchboard. They produce power to this main switchboard. And from there we take out power to the OTC pods, the bow thruster, the AC compressors. These are high voltage consumers. From there also, it goes up to the hotel, the galleys, the cabins. 
You can also see that we have a very redundant system. This ship can be run only with two engines. We can have four engines out that we can still run the ship. And you have three propellers. You can run this ship with one propeller, that's no problem. It's a very, very redundant system. With this that you have these three big engines and three small, that is helping us to find the right percentage of load. These engines are made to run around 82%. That's the most fuel efficient load you have on this engine. The interior of the Allure is stunning as it contains approximately 2,750 exquisite guest rooms with two twin beds or queen size beds to rest in. 176 aesthetic ocean views to unwind above 1,800 balconies. 170 magnificent, magnificent suites and 1,394 meeting rooms where you can have fun with people who you vividly share common interests with. During the day, guests have the chance to do something truly unique in Studio B. Ice skating on the ocean in the Caribbean. Whether you're an experienced skater keeping your ability in check, or just trying it out for the first time, strapping on a pair of skates on a cruise ship is deserving of bragging rights. Not everybody is going to be good at it, but don't worry, you don't have to be as good as our pros. In mere minutes, Studio B converts from an ice skating rink to a fully functional venue used for a variety of other events. There's a few events I love to host, one of which happens right here in Studio B, and it's our adult scavenger hunt game we call The Quest. It's truly one of the wildest, craziest games you're going to see on the seven seas. Again, whether you've cruised for the first time or this is your fifth cruise, we always make it spicy and different every time. Another favorite in the entertainment neighborhood is Casino Royale. This Vegas-style gaming center boasts 450 slot machines, 27 table games, and a bevy of electronic games, from blackjack to poker and even roulette. There's plenty to play and even more to win. The last and perhaps most popular attractions in the entertainment neighborhood are the familiar faces from DreamWorks Animation. Vacationers of all ages delight in interacting with some of DreamWorks' most beloved characters in a variety of shows and activities. The Youth Zone, home of the award-winning Adventure Ocean Program. The heart of Youth Zone is Kids Avenue, located on Deck 14. No ordinary avenue. This path guides children through Adventure Ocean's play areas. In the youth zone, parents can relax and enjoy the ship, all while knowing their babies are in the hands of specially trained, dedicated professionals. Of course, parents are always welcome to join in for Kids in Play, where parents can play with their children in an open, interactive environment. I am thrilled that I, the Moisey, have added immense value into your life. At first, I felt doubtful of your mental capacity to outlast all my viewers. But you proved them wrong, and you gained my respect. Not only did you gain value about the allure and how ships work, but you have profound knowledge and power to exchange creative ideas with people you love. If you want others like you to tap into the source of your potential, I recommend you to I recommend you and them to click the notification bell and subscribe immediately. Until then, everyone, I am the Morty, and this is good.